I've got a mind-blowing mini greenhouse reveal for you today. This is my first winter sowing results video for 2015, and you are going to love it. I'm going to open all these containers and show you all these awesome seedlings that I've grown in these little mini greenhouses with a technique called winter sowing. And if you are, uh, this is the first time you've ever heard of it, you can go down under this video in the description and see a website by the woman who created it, Trudy Davidoff, and you can see all my videos. I have about 17 videos on this technique of how you grow seedlings outside in the snow, or if you don't have snow in the cold weather and it saves you a weeks and weeks and a lot of money um, from either you know buying them or direct seeding them outside or growing them inside so um, uh, as you know if you've been following the series I put 152 containers together this year and these down here are the ones that aren't ready yet I've got watermelons cantaloupes cucumbers a lot of tomatoes some herbs and some of the greens that haven't popped yet and here's all my uh, sweet red peppers yellow peppers Orange peppers, all kinds of good peppers, and they're just starting to sprout. They're about an inch tall. Those are the warm weather crops, and these are the cold weather. Most of them are cold weather. So today I'm going to open them all up. I opened a couple for you, but I have not opened the rest. This is like Christmas presents just opening for the first time, and uh, I'll show you what they look like. So we'll start over here with the arugula, which is my absolute favorite green. And look at that. Oh my gosh, it's huge. These are ready to eat. Look how many seedlings I have down in here. Now, mind you, the cost of this, the containers are free. They're recycled juice containers, milk containers, water, that kind of thing. And all you have the cost of is your uh, seed and your soil or your soil amendments. And so look at how many seedlings I have here. I have quite a few. I'll separate them all out and they'll separate nicely because I made some space in there when I planted them. And I'm going to get them in the soil and how beautiful arugula. Let's look at this one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me pull it back here. Look at that. Oh, my, this is the best arugula I've ever had. I've had really a hard time growing it because I realized I planted it too late. You can't really grow it as well in the dead of summer. And this time I got it in the cold weather. It loves to be started in cold weather. These two I got a jump start for you. Um, Bloom, Bloomingdale spinach. Now, what's also beautiful, uh, beautiful about this technique is they're somewhat hardened already. Hardened meaning they're toughened for the weather, the sun, the rain, and the elements because they've been growing out here in the elements. Whereas when you grow them in your house, you have to harden them, which is taking them indoors, outdoors, indoors, outdoors for a couple weeks, and it's a pain in the you-know-what. So you don't have to do that here. Um, let's look at this one. Do you think this one's ready? <laughs> That is my sugar snap pea, not, not or sugar, snow pea, snow pea, not sugar snap pea. I only did one because I didn't know snow, how snow peas would do. But look at this. Oh my gosh. I just made a new garden. It's got fence all around it and I'm going to plant this and I'll get it trellised right up the fence. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Super strong, super healthy. I'm going to grow a lot of those next year. Okay, now let's move to lettuce. I got these labeled backwards, I think, because this is supposed to be romaine, but I think it's red leaf. Look at this. I mean, this is ready to go right now. And, and the beauty is, like I said, I have them all separated out so I can just transplant, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably easily 10 different lettuce plants out of that that will grow much bigger by separating them out. I think this is the red leaf or the red flame because it has a little red on the edges and it just hasn't been reddened yet by the sun. I think I got them mixed up. So this one here is, says red flame, but I think it's romaine. I was peeking. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. I mean, this is worth waiting for. And mind you, I did nothing but put them in a pot. This one doesn't want to stay open, so I'll hold it for you. Look at that. Love that. Okay, so I'm gently going to let that one fall back. Okay, now we've got to kale. I've got six different varieties of kale. This is Lacinato. <gasps> Beautiful. Actually, that doesn't look like Lacinato. That looks like dwarf. I think I might have gotten some seeds mixed up. Anyway, it's kale, for heaven's sake. This one is dwarf for sure. Look at that. See, the containers don't want to pop open because I didn't. Cut, they don't want to hold open, so I'm going to have to cut them a little better. But I have to be careful so they don't cut any of the leaves. Now, we've got more kale... Oh, look at that. Beautiful kale. More arugula. I mean, you're getting to, like, witness the first time they've ever seen the light of day outside their containers. Let's look at spinach. It looks very good. A little bit sun-faded, but I think that'll just get stronger now that the lids are off. So that's Bloomingdale. Another arugula. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I love it. I love when they just explode like that. Oh, these are so gorgeous. I'm taking a trip for, uh, soon and I'm going to not be able to eat all these, but they'll, they'll wait for me. 
Here we go. Dwarf kale. Look at this one. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. And you know how many seedlings I'm going to have from this. Look at I'll be able to pull those apart very gently down at the base. And I'll probably have 10, easily 10, 15 separate red Russian kale plants that will grow gorgeous in my container garden. Got two more. We're coming down the home stretch. We got red Russian kale again. Oh, I love when they do that. Oh, that one got bent a little bit. Super healthy. And this one is the only one that's not a cold weather veg. It's the warm weather veg of, I'm not sure it's ready yet, but we'll see, um, zucchini. That was raven zucchini. And uh, my zucchini got frozen. If you can see down there, some of the leaves died. And I had a couple over on the table, and they got about half this size, completely died when we had another frost. So um, last year they didn't have any freezing problems. Well, I did have one freeze at the very end. Lost some cucumbers, but... In general, I think this looks strong enough to stay out. So what I'll do with these, because they are somewhat delicate. They've never been out. I mean, they're, they're strong and healthy and hardy, some more than others. But um, I learned from my mistake last year. I just Last year, I just took them, the lids off, took them right out and transplanted them. And that's when we had this freak freeze at the very end. And I lost a few. So this time, I'm going to let them um, just sit out here with the lids open all day and then I'll close them at night, and I'll do that for a couple more nights, and then I'll probably transplant them next week. But I could transplant them now. I think we're, we're at the first week of May, so we're pretty solid. But uh, to be totally safe, I'm going to wait another week. So this is my big reveal for 2015. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And I'll have another reveal or two for you when the peppers pop. I'll give you a quick peek at the, uh, some of the tomatoes are coming up. Strangely, there's one, one version that came up, variety that came up really fast, which is hillbilly. There's hillbilly, and a lot of them, there's absolutely no seedling at all. So I hope they're going to come through. I have so many varieties, I can't believe that a bunch of them failed. Um, so I have Chadwick, Rose, and hillbilly that have come up. Um, but anyway, watch for those videos, and you'll get to see when the peppers are coming up. Let's see, I'll give you a quick peep, peep at a peep at a pepper. Where is it? There. Got some Carmen peppers there, and so that's going to be really exciting. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Go down in the comment section. Let me know if you are going to try winter sowing. Even remember, if, even if you're not in the snow, a lot of people think you, you have to be in snow country to do this, but you don't. If you have cold weather at night and you have to put a coat on, you can do winter sowing and it'll save you a fortune. I mean, I can't even begin to guess how much money this is worth. I mean, there's got to be, I don't know, 150 seedlings here times $4, 450 wherever it is and how much it is in your area. Huge savings and no effort whatsoever. So this can take the place of growing them in your house and using all that electricity on grow lights and the, all the hardening process and everything. The only disadvantage is you, you, you get the, when you grow them indoors, you get them a little bit sooner. But to me, if this is just fine. First week of May, I'm happy. Anyway, love to see what your comments are. Please go down in the comment section and let me know. And if you like the video and you like winter sewing, I always appreciate your thumbs up and your comments and sharing it with your friends. And so enjoy sharing this with you. Last peek before we go. Love you guys. Bye-bye.